Hi guys and welcome to C++ tutorial for lottery number generator using C++ builder. So let me show you guys how this works. Just click on that button and there we go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into C++ development environment and we put one of these together. So I'm going to exit out. Let's go to file and start a new project. Select the windows and make sure this is saved. And right there, I'm going to change the font, the font size to, let's look for the height of the font. I'm going to make that 788. The width, I'm going to make the width. Let's change that to 1386. And come right here, the palette. And let's just pick that down for a little while. So, T. L. Grab hold of a label, drop it there. Then T E for the editor, grab hold of an editor, drop it there. Then now uh, let's go for T B. That will give me a button right there. Now, next thing, let's just go for T G. Let's grab hold of this, dump it right there, and that's it. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to enhance the size of these components for the group box. I just want to use that just to jazz it up a little bit. And that's all there is to that group box. There we go. Just bring it right down. Okay, now I'm going to change the color of that group box to money green. There, that's money green there. Copy it. Make sure I select it. Copy and paste. There, bring it to the other side. All right, that's fine. And the next thing I want to do now is to increase the size of the font and so on. So grab hold of all of these. Come into the font here. Change that to something much more readable. I'm going to make that about 72 bold that's good there I move this up here that label let's change the let's just enter something there lottery number generator yeah that will do just bring that right here somewhere there and here that is my button so in there I can just enter generate number that's good there we go and here I'm going to change this to let's get rid of the text content first and the width I'm going to make that about 140 and the height I'll make that 140 as well height is going to be 140 there and now let's copy it control C control V paste we have two copy we have three four and paste again we have six so you have a chance of your six lucky numbers all right if you look at the name of this component that is called edit one edit two three four five and six that is very good now bring this right down here and double click on the button and in there i'm going to declare the following variable let's say i and i'm going to just assign a value to i i'm going to say i equals one and let's come right down here using a for loop for i equals one and let's say i less than and equals to 59 comma column then we we'll say i plus plus and enter statement block in there now the very first component that i have in there is known as edit one edit one pointer to text that will be equals int to 
string and let's enter a random number and that's it randomizing i there that is it so i'm going to come here to my form design let's select the form and uh, let's come right down here just you see where we have a line click on that and get it centered all of these components this one I'm going to select it all and let's come in here you see where we have a line I want to get that centered there okay let's run it now and see how that's going to look like select it all before I run it I just want to try one out and click on run there we go click on this button there we go guys that is it so all I just need to now do is just copy and paste so go back to the button double click on the button copy this that is edit 1 edit 2 3 4 5 that will be edit 5 6 so change the value in there this is 2 this is 3 four five and six and that's it I just finished creating my lottery number generator in C++ using C++ builder so have a good look at the lines of code is very simple it's what you guys can just play around with under five minutes you can knock this out and there we go guys So I'm going to run the program now. Let's see how that's going to look like. Click on run. There we go. Look at that. There. Now, let's do one thing. Let's go to file. Save all. I'm going to create a folder in here. I've called that lottery. And I'll click in there. And in here. Call that lottery underscore that is the source so put a source s there save and the next one is going to be let's say lottery underscore p this looks like this is the project i believe this is the unit let's see Let's put a U on it anyway, save. Then the last one that would be the project lottery underscore P. Save. Right, I've finished saving my file. Let's just run that and see how that's going to look like. There we go. And that's how you generate your own random number using random function in C++ well let's align it properly then we can call it the end of the whole project so come right here and just bring this here get rid of this and that we do I think yeah that's not too bad okay let's save that run There we go guys, so with that I'm going to call it the end of this beautiful tutorial, I suppose you guys enjoyed it. And please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of this channel. There are a lot of benefits for members. You all have a nice day now. Bye for now.